did you uh, have any input with the music, the WWF music? No, none whatsoever. No. We sat down with Jim Johnson a few times who was doing the music because we had our music was um, it was it was Rad Radford's music or somebody like that. Um, and uh, we were like, can we get like new music? Like we wanted something like Beautiful People by Marilyn Manson. We mm -hmm. sat with Jim Johnson and we went over it and we're kind of what we wanted and how we wanted it. And then it just uh, every time it got brought up, it got squashed. So we never had a say in our music. It's funny that you mentioned because that song was the original theme to Roar is War when you know when they went industrial. That was the original right. theme for like two weeks, and then it became one of the themes to SmackDown years ago. So someone was listening to you and then uh, <laughs> did it for someone else. It seems. Right. <laughs> I'll move well, on. Well, that happened. That happened a lot up there. You, you create a storyline and you present it to uh, to a creative, and then all of a sudden you see someone else doing it, and you're like, "Hmm, that's my storyline <laughs> right there." That I'm and I'm sitting home. <laughs> is there a specific story about that? Why you bring that up, or is that just everything that happened to everybody? Um, it's actually. So what happened was, is I was told I wasn't being, I wasn't being re-signed. Creative didn't know what to do with me. Um, and I was like, they're like, creative doesn't know who you are. I'm like, well, creative knows Headbanger Mosh. I go, you made me Beaver Cleavage, then you made me Chaz, then you made me Headbanger Mosh, then you made me Chaz with Lowdown. I'm like, so what I'm known for is Headbanger Mosh. So let me come back and just be, you know, Sean did it by himself. You know, people can do things. Brett did it by himself. Baby boy did it by himself. Like I can do this by myself. Um, so there was time they were like, well, Bruce told me Pritchard. He was like, well, come up with, I watch TV. He goes, come up with ideas and then send them in. He goes, and then, you know, if you can find a spot for yourself, then, you know, let's, you know, we'll see what we can do. Great. So this is when they were doing the hardcore 24 seven thing. I submitted the idea of having me come in. There's crash Holly sound asleep. I have a ref. I sneak over real quietly. One, two, three. I grab the belt. I run away. He wakes up. His belt's gone. Then I'm, he's like, that's a good idea. Next week on TV, I see <laughs> you talk about Briscoe. There's Briscoe pinning Crash Holly while he's sleeping. One, two, three. And I went, that sucks. And then <laughs> a few weeks later, that's when DDP was over. And he was doing his whole positive influence, his big giant white teeth thing. I came up with this whole idea. He needs a lackey. He needs to be straight arrow, um, but he needs to have a lackey like behind his back, like doing dirty deeds and stuff like that. I was like, let me come in. I can do the big smile. I can do, but behind the scenes, I'm the one. Next thing you know, there's Christian standing right next to him. And at that point I went, all right, I'm done sending in ideas for everyone else. Like, <laughs> or just pay me, pay me to be a writer then, pay me to be on creative. But at that point I stopped. Uh, did you know all right because that was around the time i think are we talking let's say wrestlemania no i'm sorry i'm going to bring up something entirely new because i've messed up but wrestlemania 17 i also wrote a book on the rock it's somewhere i, I can point behind me there's there's a display somewhere in that <laughs> way and um one of the things i actually bring you up in it because supposedly uh wwf.com was asking everybody who do you think is going to win between steve austin and the rock do you remember what you said no you said Steve Austin's going to win because The Rock's got a movie coming up in a week to film. Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't remember that. <laughs> <laughs> and I thought, that's the best answer I've ever heard. <laughs> that's funny. <laughs> Did Stone Cold win? Uh, yeah, yeah, uh, quite decisively. Uh, you, <laughs> and then, uh, and would you believe The Rock went and did a film the, uh, you know, two days later? So uh, you were, your prediction came out absolutely amazingly. Then uh, I, I had inside what. info. 